Hey guys, more logic tips, and in this one I'm going to show you some cool things you can do with the marquee tool when you're working with an audio region. All right. Now here I've got an audio region, and this is actually the long version of the Amen break. I won't uh, play the whole thing in case I get a copyright infringement, but there it is. Okay, right, so there's an audio region. Now, the marquee tool, this crosshair thing, is used to drag and make a selection from a single audio region or MIDI region on a single track. Click and drag to make a selection. Click the other way, drag, make our selection. Or if you've got multiple tracks working down from it, like a whole song, you can click and drag down to encapsulate as many tracks as you want and drag across either left or right to make a selection from the whole song. All right. I bear one thing in mind. I click, there's my starting point, I drag to the left to make that selection. I started here and ended there, so that is the start point, that's the end point. Or if I click there and drag to the right, that's my start point, that's my end point. Wherever I click and begin and then drag from, start point, end point. Click, drag this way, start point, end point. When you have a marquee selection like this, it isn't, this is always the start and that's always the end, working from left to right. Wherever you begin and drag from is your start point. Start point, end point. Start point, end point. Okay, let's zoom in a bit more. But if I just click and don't drag, I'm just positioning the marquee selection start position as a white line. So let's bump it there, for example. Okay. And now if I use the left right arrow keys, I can jump from transient to transient. Boom, boom, boom. And a transient is a loud peak in the audio. So right arrow, next transient, next, 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 right arrow, right arrow, right arrow. And it jumps down the region from one transient to the next transient to the next to the next to the next. Or with the left arrow key the other way. Previous, 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 previous. And it always positions the start marquee line at the beginning of the next or previous transient exactly where that transient begins on a zero energy crossing point at the start of that transient. So there's our start position on that transient there, that bump, which is probably a big kick drum. Let's look at it in the editor. There it is. Yeah, on that bump. Let's zoom in. There's the big bump, it's probably a kick drum or something. Let's zoom in further and the, 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 using the, the arrow keys like that, it always positions itself at the beginning of a transient on a zero energy crossing point. Let's zoom right in and look. See, the line is right on a zero energy crossing point where the waveform is not in a positive cycle and not in a negative cycle, but it's right where the white line, the, the marquee selection start point, is right on that center line, which is zero energy, which is silence, where the waveform crosses that line. So if we were to cut the audio region here, when the playhead came along and encountered this region, it wouldn't make a click or a pop, because if we cut here, we'd be cutting on a zero energy crossing point, silence. Cleverer. So it does it for us automatically without us having to zoom in and position it exactly on a, on a, a zero energy crossing point at the start of a transient, just using the arrow keys we jump from transient to transient in either direction each time always the marquee start point positions itself at the start of the next or previous transient on a zero energy crossing point okay so let's make that start point now we've got a start point and now if we use shift and the arrow keys we can extend the marquee range out from that start point so shift and right arrow i start extending out Transient by transient, next, 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 extending that marquee range out to the next transient, the next transient, the next, and each time that end position is being moved out to the next transient each time on a zero energy crossing point at the start of the next transient, next transient, next transient. So I can move that end point around transient by transient with shift and right or left arrow keys to bring it back, right to extend it out, left to bring it back. Okay. So I'm um, shift and left arrow back, 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 back until we just got the start point again. If I use shift 
and the left arrow I'm extending out from that starting point to the left. Previous transient, previous, 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 like that. Okay. But whichever way I go using the shift and arrow tools, whether I use shift and right arrow to extend out to the right, or I use shift and left arrow to extend out to the left, this is the start point. So if I, once I've made a selection, if I want to move the start point, I just use arrows left or right without the shift to move the start point in either direction. If I want to move the end point, shift and arrow left or right. Okay, so there's my selection. Now, if I want to put a cycle range around that to audition it, Command U, boom, hit play. Okay, that's no good, so I need to move the start point, which I started here and extended out this way. So there's my start point. So, so to move that, I just use the arrow key, left or right. All right, so let's move out our start point that way to that transient. Command U to put a cycle range around it. Let's hear that. And there's a perfect loop. To move the endpoint, shift, let's move it out to say there. Cycle range around it, command U. So let's say I've made that as my selection, I audition it. No, it's too long. So shift, bring that endpoint back in, shift and left arrow, bring it back in, one transient, command U, cycle around it, let's hear that. No, it's still too long, so we need to bring the endpoint back in one more transient. Shift, left arrow, bring the endpoint back in a bit, bump to the previous transient. Command U, cycle range around it. And there's a perfect loop. Starting on a zero energy point on this transient, ending on a zero energy point on that transient. And there's, there's a perfect loop. Yeah. Now, I've got that selection. I can get rid of what's in front and behind it and leave just what is selected with command and the backslash key Boom, and it just gets rid of everything in front and behind the selection and leaves the selection command Z to undo or if I want to cut that selection I use control command and T for Tommy boom and it cuts it and then I can copy that use it elsewhere in, in the arrangement make that into a new audio file make it into a, a, a loop whatever I like all right, so that's the marquee tool. Uh, that is a super cool feature it does, it really is. It is so fast to use to get loops together where loops begin and end on transients. Where you don't have to faff around zooming in to get a zero energy starting point. Just does it for you, selects the right positions automatically and you just jump around, make your selection, loop it, try it, loop it, adjust it, try it, boom, make your selection, cut it and off you go. Make a loop, whatever, all right? I hope that's useful.